Hi, I'm Jane. And hi, I'm Mark. And welcome to our channel. <laughs> what I've been doing in uh, the last couple of days. I've not had a phone, it's been a nightmare. Still not got the car. So yeah, I've just had to try and just keep myself busy. So the next kind of important job really is, is just clearing all the land around the house, all the pathways and stuff. And I think underneath all this like three inches of soil and weed and everything else that's, uh, that's here, we may have either granite or concrete or tarmac mixture of kind of those you know so we have got like a hard surface in time it is gonna have to um have something done to it but you know for now just getting back to a solid surface that's not full of weeds and everything is kind of brilliant so i've just been really just shoving it down into the garden area everything i'm raking up i've now got three kind of um no dig beds by the end of maybe tomorrow i'll probably have another three or so i've got a load of cardboard a load of you know weeds and straw and stuff that can go down as well and wood so i've planted up two of the flower beds i know middle of august is probably not the right time to be putting anything down but you know it's worth worth a try to put some seeds down so i've got some like corn watermelon some wild seeds, poppies, just different kinds, just, you know, see what happens. So yeah, I've got three big mounds there. I'll probably get another three in the middle and another three over near the pear tree and another flower bed. So that's kind of the ambition uh, over the next couple of days. So there's the, the veranda, uh, the front of the house. So I've got as far as the edge of the veranda and then I've been trying to work my way around um, the other side. So I'll just, just show you where I'm up to. So, yeah, big job. I do need to work my way back down this way to that pile as well. But just for now, I'm just focusing on this, what's gonna be like the turning circle for the car or cars or maybe put something nice in the middle of it make a roundabout yeah so i'm heading back down to the wall and the garden there yeah just raking it all up really making it look a bit more presentable So this is what's going to be like the dining area. This was like um, this huge monstrosity of a marble table that um, Nick from um, Project Portugal came and picked up with Carissa and Ewan the other day from Frankie Off Grid. Thank God that's now out. Um, and Edgar's going to come with a tool tomorrow to cut these bottom metal bits off so I can actually get it out of the room. But now this will be the dining area. Again, you can see I've got a paint, got some nice artwork to go up there. Um, it's like a built-in bench, so I brought over just like a cushion pad. And um, just for now, I'm going to revamp 
a table and two chairs that was already here. So at least we've got kind of some seating for four. But yeah, once it's all painted and the tiles that are already down, they're grey, so you know, we can live with them. Um, I'm going to re grout them, put some white grout. And yeah, that should be quite a nice, quite a nice dining area. You've seen the dining area and the huge table that's going to become a table tennis table. Uh, so into the living area. So this is the new sofa that we've got from Jean. Um, just a couple of little flat pack side tables, um, a flat pack. Uh, what do they call them? Poof air type storage box thing. Uh, rug that we brought with us. So the living area. I love the fireplace. We just need to work out how to get that looking clean and magnificent. But the living area is is looking better. Once we get it all painted up and uh, some of our lovely artwork up on the walls and clock and some shelves, yeah, it'll make a really Really lovely area. So this is actually been here, I don't know, three weeks, maybe, mm, yeah, about three weeks now. And it's my first night out in the village, so I'm on my own. 1k walk into the village. A couple of drinks for Dutch Courage. Meet people. Because I think there's supposed to be like a, like a festival on all weekend. All the... Uh, bunting and flowers and stages up i've seen all that so i'm hoping it starts tonight with it being a friday night and yeah take you along for the journey hopefully with very limited portuguese i might be able to you know meet a few people and try and converse with a few people but we'll see how we go turn you around oh can I turn you around on the video no so I'm just on like the dirt track down to the, the tarmac road it's currently uh, eight o'clock so I'll catch you up again when I'm there
kitchen makeover video from previous videos you'll have seen what this kitchen looked like uh, Uh, those shelves are going to come down perhaps tomorrow so I've bought some of this uh, like fablon kind of sticky stuff and just covered all that marble because it you know it was very dated it, it just looked awful it wasn't new it wasn't modern um, just had a quick move around put a few um, flat pack uh, shelf things up and made a start with the tiles that I brought and uh, Mark's going to bring some more over the uh, arrived now so he's going to bring them over at weekend and uh, we can finish off this bit and this bit under the cupboard. Uh, the cupboard was absolutely gross so it's had a, a bit of a lick of, um, of pale grey paint and some new knobs on. I mean it's still pretty gross but you know it'll do for now. So you can see this um, like shelf rack thing I've cut down, I've cut the bottom shelf off it which is now there to just get things off the floor really. Um, it's now storage for the pans. I've even covered the little marble shelf there where the cooker lives. So if I just come back here a little bit, just to give you kind of a view. It doesn't look brilliant. I need to um, like render all of that under there, make it look a bit more presentable and paint it. But when the tiles are finished and it's all been painted and rendered, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad.